while I have you here, I'm going to try to walk you through the steps to get printing. Once you have a machine that's already calibrated and printing, and you know you can print, it does take some practice to get everything set up right. What, you, what I do is the first thing I do is I plug in my power supply, which this is how I do it. I don't have a fancy switch enabled yet. I, then I plug it into my PC using the USB cable that goes back to my currently using Gen 6 motherboard. And I wait for that to connect. And once it does connect, I come over here to prompt your face. I open that for my icons and I hit connect. It connects. It tells me that Marlin is online. And then I set my temperature to 175 and click set. Then again, I check, check temp. This one's been preheating, so it's ready to go. It will overshoot and then it will come back down. It heats up and heats up, and once you reach that target de uh, target temperature, it will back off. It will just stop heating, and then it'll keep playing back and forth. I usually set my extrude to 15 if I choose to extrude, which I just did. And I don't usually do it that low. I try to give it more space. And when it extrudes that much, I just pull it out. It cools off fairly quickly. Pull it out again. Clean off any extra. Now, I don't usually have my machine with the X on that side, so let's bring it home. And you will notice I do have an Allen, a large Allen key zip tied to the side of my carriage. That is because my carriage was replaced from the pink original one to this one because it was starting to bind. And then I replaced it with this new one. This new one runs much smoother, but it does lash because the torque on the from the belts onto the X carriage, it lashes and it wiggles a lot. Can you see? And when it prints like that, it wiggles too much. And that was uh, the first way I could think of fixing it before I get uh, some type of new bit bushings I'm gonna use. So I've already preheated, it's extruded. I'm going to home and I've recently had success with just homing it, X, Y, and Z individually. You'll see it hit the bed. There is a large amount of extrusion there that might cause a problem, but I have had a success with this so far. So I'm gonna hit print. Everything will rehome again, and that's a choice I made in my software to home after, before every print. And yes, you'll see all that extrusion come off. The first layer is always the most difficult because you have to deal with the bed being level, you have to deal with the, uh, the bed being level versus the nozzle itself, and then the width of the, of the extrusion versus the temperature, it's, it's the hardest one to get. And don't worry if your first layer is not perfect. From experience, I have learned that if you just let it go, it will work out in most cases. 95% of the time it works every time. So just let it work its business and then make adjustments after you get done. The first layer on this one's a little bit high. I'm not sure why that is. I might have to make some adjustments. But you can see that the plant is coming, quite, uh, coming along quite easily. Filming a moving nozzle head with a autofocusing webcam is not the easiest thing in the world, so please forgive my uh, my filmography skills here. The MakerBot does have that nice central non-moving uh, extruder head, which makes it really easy to do time-lapse videos and makes it looks real, real cool. This one, the X and Y are both moving uh, on separate planes, and that nozzle is going crazy. It's looking pretty good. Uh, there are, I do see a little bit of gapping there on the perimeter wall. Not a big deal. Nothing that would keep that print from working or any other part really from working uh, too much. That might just be a setting I can change in the skin forge. There it is. 
It looks a lot brighter in here than it actually is. Let me turn that feature off and see what happens. I'm not sure why it looks so bright in here. But there's the part. It is not glowing neon orange like it appears to be. There we go. Maybe it's just the light. It's just regular orange. It looks really good. There it is. As you can see, it's not perfect, but this part will absolutely work. And more importantly, it feels cool. It's nice. It's smooth. That absolutely will do what you need it to do. It's a belt clamp.